हरे कृष्णा वेन नथिंग इज वर्थ फाइटिंग फॉर एनी थिंग कैन प्रोवोक अ फाइट नॉर्मली वी थिंक दैट पीपल फाइट बिकॉज समथिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दैम से टू पीपल हैव आर क्वारलिंग अबाउट अ पर्टिकुलर पोजिशन दिस ट्री इज इन माई प्रॉपर्टी दिस ट्री इज इन माई प्रॉपर्टी दिस इन पार्ट ऑफ द इनहेरिटेंस बिलोंग्स टू मी दैट पार्ट ऑफ द इनहेरिटेंस बिलोंग्स टू यू सो सच क्वारल्स हैपन नॉर्मली वैन पीपल हैव समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विच दे वॉन्ट टू फाइट फॉर हवेवर इफ देर इज नथिंग वर्थ वाइल दैट पीपल हैव टू फाइट फॉर देन इट इज नॉट दैट दे विल स्टॉप फाइटिंग Rather, what makes people fight is not the specific issue that is to be disputed. Quite often, it is the mentality that makes people fight. The Bhagavad Gita describes the three modes of material nature: sattva, rajas, and tamas. And it describes that in the mode of ignorance, there is aggressiveness, there is violence, himsa. ahimsa is the characteristic one of the characteristics of the mode of ignorance so ignorance tamoguna means that we are, not that we can't see things it means that we can't see things with a proper understanding of their priorities and thus we may end up making a small thing very important so whatever catches a person's fancy they may start people may start fighting for that and thus sometimes quarrels and wars break out quarrels in families and wars between countries break out on trivialities so when such wars break out at that time the issue is not as as conflict inducing as the mentality and while we need to resolve issues that cause conflicts it's more important to rectify the mentality we need to have something worthwhile to live for something worthwhile to fight for and something worthwhile to even lay down our life for the bhagavad gita describes work in the three modes of material nature in the 18th chapter and then it concludes in the 18th chapter by urging arjuna to work for the supreme cause tameva sharanam gacha sarvabhaven bharat tat prasadat param shantim sthanam prapsisi shashvatam in 18.62 krishna tells arjuna uh, that if you surrender to the supreme then you will get the supreme peace the peace that will never be lost this is the peace that comes by inner harmony with the divine this peace enables us to find a shelter within through our inner connection with krishna and then even if externally we have difficulties externally even if we have conflicts we can fight without getting consumed by the fight and the fight will be such that it will not be destructive bent on destroying others but it will be productive in terms of raising our consciousness towards our eternal lord thank you hare krishna